Welcome everyone back to another TGM video and here we are going to be set reviewing the 75280 Foul First Legion Clone Trooper set. So this is a very, very important set to me. I'm very excited that I got these four amazing Foul First Troopers and also comes with two battle droids. See how in the box comes with the Bark Speeder and also an ATRT with the stud shooter and on the back it's just the uh, app lego life in the back of the box it shows how you can pretty much use the stud shooters also that you can move the atrt walker legs and back here just a just a little animation where battle droids are fighting the troopers and uh, the other battle droid with his hands up very odd never seen battle droid with their hands up so yeah, that's pretty much the box. You can also play in the Star Wars, the Skywalker Sega, which I am really excited about, but it has been delayed a few times. But I hope it does come out around May the 4th. So yeah, here's the box. Next we have up is the manual I have here. It's a very awesome manual. It still shows the front of the box. Instead, it's on paper. So it's Shoko's clone trooper up here, and yeah, it's uh, also has the robot, or you can win a prize. So yeah, so our first minifigure up is the clone trooper. See that he is very, very cool. Sorry about the lighting. There we go. It's a very cool storm uh, clone trooper, the medium blaster, and his face is um, very cool. It's a a cool peach color. It's very very improved of the other clones and stormtrooper heads that I suppose that they use for. And yeah, that's our first minifigure up for this set. Our second minifigure is the ATRT driver. He's another Foul First Clone Trooper, but with the long rifle. I, I really, really like this rifle. And pretty much like all the other Clone Troopers, just with another gun and his back torso, helmet, and legs, all white, with some little pockets for ammo and other things that they'll use. And our third minifigure up is another clone trooper. He's the same thing. He's the same design as the first clone trooper. Yeah, just white in the back. Very disappointed there. Maybe it can add a little bit blue in the back of the helmet. But, you know, it's still a clone trooper. So, yeah. And our last and final clone trooper will be the Fable First Jet Trooper. Is a, oh man, I was really excited. I like how they had a jetpack on him. All blue, no white, just all blue. And his helmet printing design. Very, very awesome there. And he has blue sleeves. Oh, the other clones do not have blue sleeves. A medium blaster. And in the back, probably all the same, probably another white torso and white everywhere in the back. And that was our last minifigure. Now we have up is the Bark Speeder. Very, very awesome here. I like how instead of like landing gear stuff, they just added just bricks and then the tile on the, on the bottom. Just make it like that, see there. Oops, sorry about the lighting there. Yeah, it also comes with two medium blasters with the hilt. Makes it look like a rifle. I can also use it for also my other troopers. To just give them extra ammo there. And yeah, they also got little ski, ski things here. I don't know why they added that. So you can just, I don't know. You can't really do that. So I don't know why they added that there. Really unnecessary. And the handles for the speeder. 
I can't see how to put him on my minifigure. I've tried in many ways. I don't know if you need to, like, enlarge it or take off the blaster. I've tried all that. So I'm really disappointed in that. And the box is, looks really easy. But here it, it isn't. Uh, I just can't figure out how to put on the minifigure. But yeah, cool bark speeder. Very nice with two stud shooters. And that's it for the bark speeder. Now, the last and final thing we have here is the ATRT. Really like this ATRT. It comes with the Fable First sign here. Um, movable legs with more stickers on it. Also, on the front, you got a stud shooter. Kind of disappointed in that, but I understand you have the bark speeder. But you maybe can add like a little bit more ammo on here, maybe two stud shooters. But yeah, it's, it's still a pretty good, pretty good part right there. And on the other side, you got more stickers. About the same thing. So you got a control panel up here. And then in the back, it's got legs and then the antennas. And then for the legs, they are movable all the way up. Make it look like he's running. And yeah, it's pretty much part of the ATRT. You can also move the feet, if you want to call it. But yeah, really like this. So there you go, everyone. Set review of the Clone Troopers pack. Very awesome set. I would really recommend this for you guys and other Star Wars fans. You guys know. But thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy this. And I hope you get this set before it retires. I don't know if it's retiring this year. Maybe next year. Because I don't know if this, this is probably very popular. And check out my other videos. The next video I'll be posting will be the set review for the AAT. Have a great day, everyone. And we'll see you next on a TGM video. Bye-bye.